Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'll be teaching you all how to make this game run on supported graphic cards. I'm playing on a laptop that has a integrated graphic card and a dedicated one. My dedicated is a NVIDIA M no, NVIDIA 940 MX. If you search for it, it isn't supported. Can't run the necessary things it needs to run this game. However, however, I'll show you. It's actually running on my Nvidia, and that's a playable state. That is, this baby is actually running this pretty well. So, if you have been trying to find a way to play this game, but you get a white screen of death. I'll teach you now how to fix that and be able to enjoy this new game. But first things first, we need to grab some stuff. Come here in this site, the link will be on the description of my video, and come here on releases. Then you need to grab this file, just click here and it will download. Then you need to extract it. Even better if we have WinHar, for example. As you can see, I've already have some copies here. I have been messing around. Then go to the folder you extracted. Copy those things. Find your rendering folder. And go to the same folder where the executable is located. If it says, if there is a file saying eldenring.exe, that's the place, then you need to paste those files. Okay, one step, gone. Now what you need to do is come to your come to your disk where your Windows installation is, go to your Windows folder, go to the fabled system72 folder. Once we are here, we now need to find two files that are close together. And we found them. We need to get D3D12 and D3D12 car. You copy them. And now you come back to your Elden Ring folder again. This is where the executable is located. And you paste them. Now a very important thing, you need to grab the D3D12 core and rename it to D3D12 origin, underline original, just like here. D3D12 slash original. I'm not going to do that here because I don't want to mess my other ring installation. But this is it. Now your graphic card can run the game. However, you may want to stop playing online if you're doing this because you're messing with the game files and that can ban you. So if that's a game, you need to take your start protected game.exe. The icon will be different because I've already done that, the modification. You delete it. Now you Grab your other ring.x, you copy it here, and you rename it to Start Protected Game. Yes, unfortunately, you can't play online doing this fix. Well, it sucks, but hey, at least you can play the game. If everything goes right, you can now start the game of course just check if it's using your dedicated nvidia graphic card or amz of course and it's alive working fine let's just put see if it worked or if i didn't mess anything And it's working great. 
So that's how you can run Elden Ring on older unsupported graphic cards. A huge thanks to the person who created this method. And same, the same one in the link in the description. And one last warning. As you can see, we modified this here, this file. Notice that both the D's are in capital. In the same link I mentioned you, this chat here explains what's happening behind the scenes, how that is possible, and more technical stuff. However, one thing that I noticed is that in the instructions it says to grab this file, those files. As you can see, those ones are different from those ones. I tried it anyway and it worked, so I don't know if that's just something on my Windows installation or if that was a typo. However, Whatever the case, you can do this if you find yourself in the same situation. So that's it. Now I hope you all can enjoy playing a bit of Elden Ring on your previously supported rigs. Also, I may make some Elden Ring videos in the future, so if you're interested in that as well, consider subscribing. See you all next time. Bye!